Indianapolis Chargers. Coach Anthony Lynn moving into his fourth season, and he has been all over the place. It had a 12-4 and four season, had a 5-11 and 11 season. They have <laughs> fired kickers and fired this and that, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. Uh, Matt Miller jumps in. Raiders versus Broncos, Rugs versus Judy. Who do you think is better? Uh, uh, Judy. Uh, I think Judy's Judy, yeah. uh, head and shoulders better than Rugs. Uh, Rugs is, is a burner. And, but but Ruggs, Ruggs is still okay, a good Ruggs receiver. is faster than him. If they yeah. get in underwear and they run a track me, I'll take Rugs. Yeah. Are we playing in our underwear? Are we running track? I mean, I'm it, we 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 running we running on the field, man. We you know? <laughs> Judy, no, there's no evaluation whatsoever that has Rugs being a better receiver than Judy. There's no, it's just true. Not. It's true. Now I think they're both really good, but you know, that, I, I do think Judy's question, better. Question, Gary. Judy's a better re- receiver. He just is. He's and a he's better a, route runner. And, he's, a, and he's, a lo- he's marginably better. He's a yeah. he's it's you can see it better. He's he's better. Yeah. It uh, if to I were them, I would have taken him was a mistake. I would have taken I would have taken Judy. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Lee Lee C D and Judy are are were were splitting hairs. And then there was a pretty good gap between Ruggs and Jefferson and 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 and, and Higgins and the next group. Yes. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. All right. So back to the Chargers. Anthony Lynn, fourth year, went five and eleven last year. Um, so five and eleven last year, and twelve and four the year before that. Uh, Philip Rivers last year was throwing picks like it was going out of style. Man, twenty three touchdowns and twenty interceptions. So uh, they move on from the old man. He moves over to the Indianapolis Colts, who are immediately division favorites in the AFC South, and the Chargers have got Tyrod Taylor, who they are deciding they are going to roll with. And, and he's supposed to be the starter. I don't think they've named him yet. But uh, but then they've also got Justin Herbert, who they took sixth overall from Oregon. And <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt Miller said, Chris, are you saying you want to play in your underwear? Kinky. <laughs> These guys in the chat. Um, good gracious. So I would be more <laughs> opt to play in my underwear than without a shirt on. Let's say that. <laughs> good Lord. Uh, let's move into some of these stats right quick. Offensive yards per play last year, 5.9. That is not too shabby. It's number seven in the league. Defensive yards per play, again, pretty average, 5.4. That is number 15 in the league. However, the turnover margin, they gave up 1.1 turnovers per game, dead F last in the league, number 32. Uh, Joey Bosa signed a massive deal. Uh, He and Ingram, great duo on the defensive line. Uh, Eckler is going to be the guy at running back. You know, at Gordon signed with the Broncos. You know that he wanted that opportunity to be able to play the Chargers twice a year, so he's going to get it. There we go. Uh, they got Allen and Williams at wide receiver. Those guys are studs. They got weapons. This team, like this roster, is not bad. Uh, the the question is, does does Taylor or Herbert scare anybody at quarterback? Because this is a quarterback league. Like, let's not forget that you got to have a guy that is competent and a guy that can get you points on the board. And Tyrod Taylor, as much as you and I both like him, he hasn't done that consistently over the years. He's been serviceable for sure, but he hasn't done it consistently. Um, and then, my God, the Derwin James injury. I mean, that's, that's just a stinger because you needed him back there to create a little bit of havoc and to get some of those turnovers. And I, I just, I, I'll tell you this. Uh, win total is 7.5. By the way, over is minus 145. The under is plus 115. And uh, and they are plus 800 to win the division. I don't trust Anthony Lynn. Like, I, I just don't, and I don't like their quarterback situation right now. I think it's going to take some time to get them going, and they play in a pretty tough division. I, I don't like what this schedule sets up like. I've got them going 6-10, and 10, man. I, I don't trust this Chargers team right now. We're the exact same. I think them and the Raiders finished with the same record, six and ten. Here's my issue with this team. First things first, let's address the Phillip Rivers, all the turnovers, all the interceptions last year. Okay. Worst offensive line in the league, period. Has been for a while. They play from behind constantly. When you've got four minutes left and you're down by two scores, interceptions happen a lot. Look yeah. at the fourth. If you take Phillip Rivers' fourth quarter numbers out, all those turnovers disappear. 
Why do they all happen in the fourth quarter? Because they're desperate, because they're down, because they don't, if they're not playing well at the beginning of games. He is getting chased the entire game, can't get the run game going because you don't have a good offensive line. The defensive secondary is atrocious, so people are throwing on you right and left. You got two monsters in the middle of the field on the edges, sorry, that, that, are, that are just complete beast. Um, but, but they can't do everything, and, and the rest of that defense hasn't been great. And, and they're not healthy. And so this is just one of those situations where Rivers was just trying to play hero ball to keep them in games and couldn't do it. All right? Yeah. I don't think that's on him. If you think Mike Williams is going to save this team, look, I love Mike Williams. I love him to death. But he's hurt right now before the season starts, and he is a take the top off the defense, go up and get the football, and I don't think either one of these quarterbacks are going to get him the ball. Uh, they may not have time to. I mean, they're, they, they're not going to have time to be. I don't know if they have the arm to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you're right. So it's just one of those things where I think this team is going to struggle. I think their games are going to be ugly and hard to watch. I uh, I will say this. I do like Kenneth Murray, the linebacker that they drafted out of Oklahoma. I, I like him a lot. He's a rookie, man. But he's a rookie. He's a rookie. Yeah. He's, he's a rookie, and it's going to take some time for him to figure out that position. Um, I mean, they, they're going to have skilled him rookies on. Great defenses can come in and and gel and be really protective. You need him to come in and be a playmaker game one, year one, for a team that defensively outside of of, of Bosa and Ingram are just not real good. I don't see it happening, man. Yeah, no, it's it's going to take some time. It Teams are going to go to at him, and it's going to be tough for him to be able to find this place in this world. You uh you are correct. So I we both got them six and ten. Uh, with that said, let's move on. We are going to move to the NFC 